my Okay. Hello. I'm home. Yeah, I've been gone for a week, but uh, I brought back the milk. So there's that. It's actually out of date by a week. Listen, it's a thought that counts, okay? Here, take the milk. Go make me a cup of tea, you little sh. <laughs> okay, guys. Hello. How are you doing? How have you, how have you been? You've been holding the fort down? You've been behaving? So yeah, I was gone for a week, guys. I was on the FNAF movie set. And there will be a video about this, don't worry. There's not going to be any footage of it just yet. It will just be my initial thoughts and my experience on the set, meeting Scott, meeting the crew, all that stuff. But today, I thought we could just get straight back into it, you know? There's been quite a few submissions um, since I've been away on my Scarebass submission in Discord. By the way, if you're not already a member of my Discord, join it down below. It's in the link in the description. It's in the link in the description. You know, you can tell I haven't done this in a while. I'm rusty as hell. Jeez. A few people submitted some clips in. And as always, if you submit a clip in and I watch it, I will give you a shout out. Sometimes that a lot of people submit the same thing. So it's hard to shout out just one person for that. But yeah, we'll see what we can do here. So we're starting off today with a new... This one was... I remember this being submitted quite a bit, but I can't actually find where it was spammed. But the person who I saw first was MyCG023, who submitted this video. And this video is called The Kid and the Camera, a short horror film by Grumbled Entertainment. Battington actually commented here a day ago saying that it was absolutely amazing. So, I mean, if you've got Battington's approval, then you're doing something right because that is a very talented man right there. But yeah, thank you for the submission, MyCG023. Be sure to go submit me some scary stuff in the Discord down below in the description. And we're just going to jump straight into this. So here we go. Let's hope that this isn't copyrighted. I just realized I'm going to leave this milk out now and it's probably going to go off. It already is off by... Uh, Star o'clock stories. I don't know what my cats have done, but they, they've taken some of my freaking keys away. My F6 and my right arrow key is missing. Once upon a star, there lived a boy named Kalen. Hello, Kalen. How's it going, mate? He was right. a happy little tot of he six looks years it. old. And it looks like he birth, swallowed an iron. He received a very special gift. All right, let me put the subtitles on for this. His very own photo camera. Kalen loved the camera mm -hmm. so much that he took it out every day, snapping photos of anything he could. A picture here, a picture there. Until one day, a yep. terrible accident happened. What was that? He fell on a stick? I mean, listen, what's your name? Kalen? I'm not being funny, Kalen, whatever your freaking name is. Look how much empty space you've got here. If you trip over the only thing that's in this area, I'm sorry to say, but you're probably an idiot. You probably deserved it. And the camera broke. Oh no, I can't believe it. I can't, he's bloody dead. Kalen didn't sleep a wink. Haunted by thoughts of his once perfect camera late uh. into the night. That was when a sudden sound <laughs> Is he alive? caught his attention. He looks dead. Okay, someone's knocking on his window. I don't know what that came. For some reason, I thought the thing down there said Fetty Wap. I don't know why. It said it, I've gone crazy. I've gone mad. Okay. Someone's at your window, mate. Have a little peekaboo. Hey, this guy's got a terrible hairline. And there stood on the other side of Kalen's bedroom window a large winged creature. Oh. Hello there, young lad. Greeted okay. the creature. I'm the Kipsneed, your sleep fairy. Sleep fairy? That is Sleep correct, fairy. Replied the Kipsneed. My job is to make sure you get a good night's sleep. But it's come to my attention that you haven't been resting at all lately. He just pulls out a hammer and starts going to town on his head. I'd like to know the reason why. That was pretty dark. Kalen had never heard of a sleep fairy. My parents told me not to talk to strangers. Especially strangers? winged creatures. 
I'm no stranger. I know North all the girls North and boys North. around the globe. I know their parents. Their so homes. is this like, is this person not like the Sandman? Their name. A false Sandman. Why? I even know your name. Caleb. Now, would a stranger know your name? Yep. Caleb thought one that's been stalking moment. anyway. No, I guess not. If you must know why I'm awake. It's my camera. Oh, no. It's broken. I can't believe it, Kaylin. Just like that. Tears welled up in Kaylin's eyes. Grow up, Kaylin. This is meant to be a horror, by the way, guys. Oh, you got a nice picture Let of a doggy there. It had an idea. Why don't I get this camera fixed for you? Perhaps that would help you sleep easier. You I could don't know do about that. that, Chief. Of course, and I know just the place. A factory in my homeworld. I'll lead you to the portal. A sweatshop? Just follow my voice. And the kips need disappeared into the night. Oh. So now Kaylin's going to walk out into the dark following a stranger's voice. Kaylin uh, followed close behind the kips need. Snapping photos to mark the way in case of getting lost. Mm -hmm. I think it's a clever idea. At Is that last, his house? Kalen reached a house. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is that Hansel and Gretel? Well, that looks. Seems quite abandoned, thought the boy. Kaylin. Dark, but there was the Kips Needs voice again, beckoning. The portal to my home world's inside. Come along. The portal to my home world is inside. Wow. I must have my camera fixed. So, in spite of his obvious fright. Kalen marched into the home. Yeah. And got brutally killed. Okay, this feels real. This feels more real. Oh, it's a broken camera as well. Oh, it is real! But that... And the camera's... Oh! Oh, God, that's horrible. What's his name? Kipsneed. Kipsneed. Yeah. Let's go and... What was that? What was that? Oh, fudge me. Kaylin, you messed up, mate. Is there something in the background there? It's time to go home. This reminds me of... There's Freddy and the gang? Oh no, it's, Ka it's Kaylin. Okay. Oh god, what's he seen? Some weeks later, authorities discovered the basement. The rest of the boy was never found. Wow, that took a, I mean, I was expecting a dark turn, but I love the, the, 
the use of like real life stuff mixed in with the animation. I thought that that was a really neat little trick there. It's like the camera pictures like reality almost. Well, this is why you just don't follow strange winged creatures in the middle of the night. Okay, that, that's what happens. That was amazing. I'm going to subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. I'm surprised I've only just seen this now considering it was out January 16th. Yeah, go subscribe to Grumbled Entertainment, guys. That was really, really good. We're going to move on now, guys. FNAF VHS Funtime Diagnostics. Uh, interestingly enough, I think this is the first security breach. Not security breach. Is it the first sister location? I don't think it's the first sister location VHS video we've seen. So this was uploaded. Well, this was submitted to my Discord by Comrade Sansward. But yeah, this is Funtime Diagnostics by Static. We're going to jump straight into this. It seems to be doing a 394,000 views two months ago. So recovered from an old robotics rental facility. This video was released to the public during a Fazbear Entertainment data leak. We really don't know what it means. Let's go, baby. Here we go. I guess ah. we gotta document this as part of my contract. So here we go. Okay. All right, big guy. Time for your yearly diagnostic test. Wow. Get your affairs in order before you go out playing. Yearly. For the kids, huh? All right. Just gonna go down the checklist here. All right. Proximity sensor grouping coordination. A. Proximity sensor slash grouping and coordination. Interesting. Guess you're some kind of bodyguard, huh? Keeping the guests in line. Uh, 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 pulls out a gun. I tell you, this job's driving me insane. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. You, we know it's a robot, but, you know, it's good to give them a bit of character. Hey, anyway, at least this is going to be simple. You have some sort of fancy voice commands to run your tests once you're in diagnostic mode, so... I'm supposed to say... <clears throat> run command gather underscore 10059. What's that meant to do? Whoa! Damn, this thing is high tech! You don't say. What the it hell? It should open and close, displaying a small blinking light of various colors. Well, it's only white at the minute, isn't it? Okay, what does green indicate? Is it green? Oh, I can't... it indicates success. Perfect. Let me give the... Reset command. What happened there? Run reset to operation. Alrighty. On to the next function. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like how that's, um... Yeah. Animated. B. Parental tracking slash 360 pivot. This part is apparently focused on the Bon Bon hand puppet. Okay. That's okay. This. Ugh. Run command track underscore rotate underscore five zero one one three. And oh my god, look at it! Quote, look at the Bon Bon. So yeah! To me. Run reset operation. Alright, on to the next one. Oh. Voice mimic, luring. What the hell is a vocal mimic? What could this possibly? Hang on, is it going to copy his voice? Run command lore underscore mimic underscore 97109. He's going to copy his voice, right? I said run command. <laughs> I don't... What is going on? Wait, what? Hello. What the hell? Honey? Oh, that's weird. Mom? What is... That's his mom? I love you. I love you too, Mom. No, 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 this isn't right. Please don't resist. What? What do you mean Please by that? Please don't resist. I don't understand Thank what's going you. on! Oh! Oh, I'm too old for this! Oh, good lord! Oh, wow, okay. Well. Oh, god, that gave me shivers. Storage tank?
I thought, what, what, hang on, I thought that, were, that, that was made for like kids. So you fit a whole ass adult in there. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Awesome stuff. It reminded me of when the eyes turned on like that. It reminded me of um, It, Chapter 2. When you look inside the mouth of Pennywise and then you just, you just, you know, you drop. That's what that reminded me of. Seems to be a lot of uh, cool stuff here, actually, that I haven't seen. I might have to do, like, a, a separate FNAF video on some of these. But yeah, there we go. That was static, guys. Subscribe, leave a like, rate, and all that good stuff. So, last video of today is called Found Footage Welcome Home by Liminal Land. It says, internal company training tape recovered and submitted by an anonymous source. Strangely, this video appears to have been taped over. And as far as we know, the victim depicted herein has never been found. Read more than it directs you to the website that we've already seen. But what's interesting is that this was created by Geonosis. And Geonosis is the person who made the back rooms videos, which is really freaking cool. This was submitted by Fizzaroli, the one and only. Although there was quite a few, quite a few submissions for this one, I think. So here we go, guys. Last video. Let's jump in. Get comfy. This one's 10 minutes long. Wonder if you'll be mine. License for private home. Okay, hang on. Oh, I didn't mean to pause there, but there we go. Check it out, guys. We just managed to... Uh... Okay, so it says, License for private home employee viewing only. Any public performance, copying, viewing, selling, or other use is strictly prohibited. All of the rights reserved. Viewing intended for the Kron management team only. Any outside viewing, altering or distributing of this tape will result in immediate termination. Any power found with this tape will be disciplined with extreme prejudice. Damn. That was a good time to pause, though. Yeah. 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 So we're getting actual footage from the liminal land itself. Do I need to put... Well, there's no uh, greetings, new home associates. Thank you for joining our team. We are thrilled to have you here. We look forward to seeing your contributions to the betterment of Lin liminal land and our power goers. In other words, welcome to your new home. Home, home, home. So what is home? Home, holistic and opportune mutual experience. Home, 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 home. The home project strives to encompass a feeling of comfort and homeliness long associated with the American suburbia. Simply put, home is where we cater to our guests. Desire to stay in the fun for as long as possible. We absolutely must maintain the stability and image of home to ensure our guests stay as long as possible. Wow, that's... Must stay as long as possible. As you will see momentarily, we have strategically placed home slightly ahead of the park's entrance. I hope you guys can hear that, because it'll be awkward if you can't. Serpentine. Wow, is this the map of... This is the map of Liminal Land. So that's the home entrance. Park entrance. A centrifuge. Hall of Walls. Subliminal Land. Skyliner. The Laugh Track. I want to go check the Laugh Track out, man. And the Serpentine. Serpentine. Because that that's... um The Paradise Playrooms. I mean, they're all... This, this is just... I guess that's why it's called Liminal Land. It's just... Odd. Okay. Home is an opportune place to stay. Here our guests can venture into the park and access all of our esteemed attractions right from the starting line. Now, you might ask us, doesn't home seem rather small and far away from a lot of the park? Why are those more than meets the eye? Lying just beneath the surface. Here is a visual comparison between the total area of home residencies to the overall size of the park. 
Since home is situated directly beneath the entire park, let's overlap the two and zoom out so we can accurately show the true size of home. Man. Okay, well that's... Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Warning, do not attempt to what? Go back. What did that just say? Do not attempt to explore or ascertain the true size of the home facility. Even we are entirely unsure of the true size and extent. Well, that's terrifying. Of course, okay, it's very important that we spot and correct any sort of mess or inconvenience thoroughly and swiftly. We do not want our guests to feel uncomfortable and wish to leave prematurely. It is time for you to use what you've learned here so far. Try to spot the inconvenience in the following images. Okay, go ahead. Do you see it? Uh... No. What? What? There's nothing there. This is a trick question. Oh, is it the freaking... Is it possible that it's just this? This is not, like, tucked in properly? Wait, what did that just say? Uh, floors, windows, thresholds that potentially serve as... I don't know what that says. There you go, silly. Oh, windows. Wait, what? The windows was the problem. Was that a window? Home training course. Case study. The following fan footage tape will serve as an integral example in showcasing how improper contained home and measures lead to anomalous occurrences for home residents. Case study. Pay attention and thoroughly note what went wrong. We never want to see incidents such as this one again. Ooh. Oh, what is it? No, at the end of each segment, a message will briefly be displayed. Each message will indicate one more, more of the following. Important information regarding anomalous occurrences. What to avoid when present in similar situations. What kind of behavior we hate to see our subjects exhibit. Which areas are prohibited from being accessed even by k associates. What to immediately correct following the viewing of this tape. Damn, so there's things that even the k employees can't see. Home, 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 home. Yeah, okay, that's working. Okay. So this is home, apparently. It doesn't even look real. Coming soon. It's like a suburbia. So, Liminal Land was built on top of basically an old, like, nuclear power plant or something like that. And what you see under here is where k employees or w those old employees used to live. place doesn't look that family friendly to be fair it looks it looks um community board okay so that was the that's liminal land above What's all this music? Is that... Oh, it's coming from in here. Need a flashlight. Do not follow strange sounds. Do not enter a stranger's home. Well. Okay, he's broke two rules here. Okay, well, this is meant to be someone's home. My God. That's oh, coming from the gramophone. What does that say? Fun? 
So there is, well, I'm guessing this is an employee, maybe. I think they said. It's nice to actually be seeing... Block this door, did I just say? Ooh. Never leave a passage unblocked. Curiosity will become regret. Wait, what? Laughter. What's happening down here? was footsteps right I don't think any people are people are at the C block someone's burning in there okay Ron Do not, just do not, do not go in there. It looks like a furnace. What's been going on? What's happening? They're, they're literally, he's in the back rooms. Brilliant. This is a lot of space. You can feel the panic from this guy. Oh, there's like different exit signs. Uh, may never be true. You'll never be seen again. You may never, may never be right. You are already dead. Well, that's that's kind of pessimistic. Batteries running low. Here we go. Go on, son. Go through there. What happened? Those who seek to patch will lose themselves. We hope you learn from others' mistakes. We hope you have a pleasant day here at Liminal Land. Wow, that's um, brutal. But the thing about this as well is that there was some kind of... Um, what was it? There was a, some kind of god. I forgot what the god was called. Monolith, I think they, it was called. And it was like a god that's known for the sacrificing of children but it's nice to actually see obviously we haven't seen liminal land the actual the actual fairground but it's nice to see what the hell is underneath liminal land which is even bigger and spookier than what could be on top because there's something dark happening down in the home department that's for sure but there we go guys that was liminal land found footage welcome home and with that that is the end of this video I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Go support the creators. They'll be linked in the description in the order that I watch them. Once again, join my Discord if you haven't already. Submit me some scary stuff. If I watch the submission, I will give you a shout out. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, guys.